Hi folks, Mayor Kevin Davis. I'm here in my office today and I'm here with two city employees, Meg and Kevin, and we'll introduce them in a minute. But I want to talk today about what the city is doing for the business community, because not only is this COVID-19 situation had a devastating impact upon individuals, many of them in their finances, it's also had a really devastating impact upon the backbone of our local economy, our local businesses. And although I've been consumed by doing the things I have to do to protect the health and the safety of our community, it's always been in the back of my mind what it is we're going to have to do currently and what we should plan on doing to help businesses when we move out of the what I call the COVID-19 tunnel and we're in the light and we're recovering and, and we have to do a lot in terms of our local economy. So first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, May. May, you're, you're, the, you're heading up the Brantford Brant Business Resource Enterprise Center. I think I've got the title right. And that currently is located in the, the market correct. square. So tell us, what is, and you're there as a resource center for local business. You help people set up businesses. So what are we currently doing to help local businesses adapt to the new realities of COVID-19? Well, like we said, um, the BRC is there to support uh, small business and solopreneurs. And so we have seen a lot of businesses going to crisis over this period and very, very quickly. So we have started a webinar series that just has to deal with small business and how to deal with the COVID, with COVID-19. They are topics around how to manage your cash flow during COVID-19, COVID how to market, um, how employer, an employer's guide to managing and customer loyalty before and after. So um, that is what we're looking at and to help small businesses at this time. How does somebody sign up for a webinar? They would go to our website, uh, businessresourcecenter.ca. Great. Anything else that you're doing currently to help uh, small businesses and medium-sized businesses in town? Right now, we have uh, partnered with the Brantford Chamber and the Paris Chamber. We're doing a virtual forum. That's Thursday, April 16th. We have representatives from Watchers Holden and Millards coming in to answer your questions. This webinar is specifically for small business and solopreneurs. It's to answer HR questions, as well as to give you some kind of information around the government relief programs as well. Great, and how does someone register for that webinar? That is going to be up. You'll be able to go through your local chamber office to okay. register. All right, well, thank you very much, May. and. Uh, I know I sometimes visit your office when I'm over there at the Market Square. Very much appreciate the service of you and uh, the people that work in, in your uh, resource enterprise center. And now I'm gonna talk to Kevin Finney. Now Kevin, Kevin is the director of our economic development and tourism department, currently located and centered out of the tourism center. So Kevin, you not only have you been doing, uh, we'll talk about this in a minute, the economic recovery plan, but let's talk about what you and your staff are doing to help our local healthcare system with the shortage of PPE, personal protection equipment supplies. I know you've been spending a lot of time on that. Tell us briefly what you've been up to. Yeah, so we're very much acting kind of as the logistics arm now between the business community and the healthcare system. So we've been reaching out to various businesses, asking if they have surplus PPE equipment, or we've also been approached with direct donations from the business community. We then forward those resources to the healthcare system and frontline service providers. Right, and so some businesses have been, have been very, very generous. Can you give an example of, of some of the businesses that have really stepped forward and uh, made a sizable contribution or donation? Yeah, as you're aware, Mr. Mayor, and it's been on the news, there have been some manufacturers that have retooled their plants, uh, one being the case here in the city, Apotex Pharmachem. So they not only donated a surplus of N95 masks to the city, as well as the healthcare system, they've also retooled one of their lines to produce hand sanitizer. Um, you know, that, that's great. It's a real strength of our community, how we can work together in a time of crisis. And, and we also had Laurier has contributed excess uh, PPE supplies, school boards as well. Um, and it's been very amazing that the generosity of our business community and that of our, some of our educational institutions. And just briefly, how are you distributing the, the materials that do come into us? So as I mentioned previous, first and foremost, the healthcare system is our number one priority. Uh, beyond that, we've started a uh, database internally with community organizations, predominantly not-for-profits. Uh, we'll then be directly contacting these organizations to see what their needs are and getting the supplies that are required to them. Let uh, May go home. Um, I want to talk to you about 
the economic recovery plan. So about two weeks ago, a senior manager here, myself, we realized quickly the, the devastating economic impact of COVID-19 shutdown. And we asked you to begin developing an economic recovery plan for council's consideration later this spring. So what have you done so far? Yeah, so last week we had a media release that included um, some specifics around web resources. So on Advantage Brantford, we do have a page dedicated to COVID-19 business supports and resources. Um, as part of that release, we also included a business impact survey. Uh, that survey will be used to form part of this plan. So the, what we're hearing from businesses, the concerns they have in the short, medium to long term, how the provincial government, uh, provincial federal governments can assist them, as well as what the role of the municipality will play moving forward. Right. And are you doing anything more right now besides doing the survey, like reaching out to other business groups? Yeah, we've been very active. So again, just we kind of took a sector approach. So whether it be food manufacturing or warehousing logistics, um, we're very much engaged with the businesses as part of that. Um, it's also led into some donation securement, so to speak. Right. So we've also noticed uh, significant generosity from the business community. So what's the next step in developing that economic recovery plan? I think once we get those responses back from the survey, that'll give us a good idea of those concerned, uh, those areas of concern for businesses. And that will then be brought forth to council for their consideration, whether that entails municipal support or again, leaning on the provincial federal governments to support these businesses locally. Um, it's definitely taken priority as our number one action uh, for the department. And that goes across all three divisions, including the Small Business Resource Center, as well as Tourism Brantford. Right, and so from, uh, from council's perspective, people have asked me, well, what is it that council's doing? The federal and provincial governments are doing a lot for us in terms of various grant programs. And you know, we're hampered because at the city, we have to balance, balance our budget at the end of the year. We cannot borrow money like the federal and provincial governments. So if we have a deficit at the end of the year, we're in trouble. That means the next year we have to increase taxes or we drastically cut services. But you know, we do recognize, and I recognize, like right now I am clearly focusing on the health and safety of our community. But in the back of my mind, I am very worried about the economic recovery plan that will have to have in place. And part of that will involve, as many other businesses and individuals will be doing, and nonprofits, looking at how they do, how they normally carry on business and what they might do and have to do to make their operations, I guess, more efficient and deliver services more efficiently. So there's no question at, at the city, uh, when we get into this further down the line, we'll be looking at everything the city does. We will have to, it'll be a new reality for everyone and looking at what it is we deliver in the way of services, how we might do that more efficiently, how we might uh, decide that there are some services that we no longer need, or it'll be involve a, a complete review of what I'm sure the city does. Uh, the intent being to, you know, how we can deliver better value for the property taxpayer. It will not be easy, uh, but it is something clearly we're gonna have to do along with many other organizations. And so I wanted to let you know that we're very concerned. Uh, we are developing a plan to help the business community, the backbone of our local economy. And there'll be more to come, lots more to come. And please participate in the survey. And of course, everybody do what you're required to do to flatten the curve so we can get out of this sooner, uh, minimize the impact that's staying home unless you're an essential worker or you have an essential trip to make and maintaining the six foot two, two meter distance separation, washing your hands thoroughly, frequently during the day and of course not touching your face and everything else. So I want to thank you very much, Kevin, uh, for joining me this afternoon and I hope you found this educational and informative. So have a good evening. Thanks, Mayor.